Last year, you were at Usher's concert, and he sang happy birthday to you. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> what was that like? It was shocking. I was not expecting that. I'm glad I had sunglasses on. And uh, it was amazing. Um, he was killing the show. And then he just kind of walked up to where I was and with the lights on and just recognized me and gave me flowers. And yes. I was just so not expecting that. I'm an Usher fan, you know? I'm a fan, so. Let's talk about the Super Bowl halftime Yo. show. You were Super Bowl. I was there. Okay, so what did you think of the halftime show? Well, it was the Usher show featuring these two football teams. And... <laughs> Go Giants. Everybody was so geeked about the halftime show. Um, Taylor Swift had a dedicated Taylor cam yep. that literally stayed on her the whole, the whole game. I was like, I gotta get me one of those. <laughs> A queen a, cam. A queen cam. Um, but it was, the energy was amazing. Usher rocked that show. And everybody he brought out, you know, because, and, all, and the marching band and the energy in the crowd, and we got these light up uh, lanyards that we got to wear, and you just knew something was gonna happen, and then all of a sudden, it just starts lighting up. You feel like a cyborg or something, you know? And then the whole crowd goes crazy. Nobody performs like Usher. I, he's a rare, he's a rare person. I mean, you were just a part of the Grammy ceremony that celebrated the 50 years of hip hop. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. It is, <laughs> it's, it's. I mean, look at that class right there. You got like Arrested Development, Black Sheep, De La Soul. I mean, you open the doors for people. That, you know, that is Oof. the most, one of the most important things. Oh, thank you. The thank whole you. genre, as well as your particular hand in the female empowerment aspect of it. Oh yeah. I mean, you have to. Well, I had to, I felt like I had to. You have to find your lane. You know, my lane was, I decided was to, one of them was to definitely um, make women feel empowered, make us feel empowered. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I can't really, I can't really talk about the guys. Let me, let me talk to us first. Yeah. Why don't I just pump us up? You know, let's, let's, ladies first. How about that? Yeah. You know, let's make a record called Ladies First, where we put ourselves first. Yeah. Instead of tearing each other down, we lift each other up. Yes. You know, and then we'll deal with them in a minute, but let's take care of home first. Let's do a little housekeeping. And um, so, it was very empowering. We actually were around while a genre of music was created. Yes. You know, and which is pretty, pretty the dope. The birth of it, yeah. truly. And we got to be the beneficiaries of it. We sure did. It. Oh my goodness. I mean, you've done so many things with your life, you know, writing, acting, performing, singing, rapping, mm -hmm. so many multi hyphenates. Yeah. And you get a Kennedy Center honor. <laughs> What's that like? <laughs> wow. That is like that? the ultimate. <laughs> you know. That's what that's like. The president Sorry, presents that award. Uh, yeah, that's kind of crazy. I mean, look at that giant thing around my neck. You don't, I mean, that medal itself is different from anything you've ever received in your life. It's, they put it on you and you feel like, wow, this is a piece of American history. Yes. Happening right now. Yes. I mean, but who knows you're getting a Kennedy Center honor. Did like, you find out on the set of The Equalizer? Yes, and I'm literally- What's up, that moment like? It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, it's like the last day. I think it was like the last day of shooting. And then I get a call that changes my world. And my partner, Sha Kim, called me again. Sha called me and he was like, yo, by the way, you can't say anything, but you're getting a Kennedy Center honor. I'm like, what? And then he was like, your mother would be so proud of you. And he just started crying. And I just, I was like, you know, don't do it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, when, when things, things it, it takes a lot to, for him to get emotional. 
after all these years. And, How long and have you been together with him? Since high school. We met in 10th grade, you know. Uh, my mother was his art teacher. <gasps> so half of my friends uh, were taught by my mother, <laughs> which is trippy. And she, re she pretty much got us signed. She hired the DJ who did the high school parties, who became my producer, the 45 King, who signed me, who helped get me signed to a label and our whole crew. And so really, my mother got me into hip hop, you know? And um, I think she, she prepared us to just go out in the world and make it happen, you know? Well, thank you <laughs> for hanging out and partying and reminiscing mm -hmm. and going through the years. Just everything you're doing, the Equalizer, you know, it's airing on Sundays, 8 p.m. on oh, CBS. Yeah. We actually have a clip to take us into break. And as we go out, I just have to say, I love every time that I get to be around you. And whatever keeps us inextricably linked. Thank you, Drew. Oh.